Hey everybody, Andrew Prashad here. Uh, this is one of my The Give Back free tap classes. Big thank you to the community for coming together and getting the hand sanitizer for my son uh, so we can do his catheterizations. So, this is class number one. I had some requests um, for some beginner things, some more advanced things. So let's all do the warm up together. The warm up is gonna build. So then hang out at part one if that's where you're at, and then jump into part two. Okay, and this warm-up is based on the Steve Condos rudiments. It's also, uh, the order of it is based on a Jason Samuel Smith warm-up I stole like a hundred years ago. It's a killer warm-up and it builds really nice. So, thanks Jay. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So our warm-up starts nice and simple. We are gonna start with toes and heels. Sometimes we call it a crawl. So we say, one, two, three, four. We got toe and heels and toes and heels. Left foot says toes and heels and toes and heels. Right foot says toes and heels, toes, heels, toes. Left foot, give me that again. We say toe, toe, heel. If you're a little more advanced, give me a little something in the hands. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. So now coming up, we're gonna sneak a little shuffle in there. We say shuffle, then a toe, then the heels, and then the toes. Left foot says shuffle. And while we're shuffling, we wanna keep this ankle nice and loose. We say shuffle. Let the leg do the work. We say shuffle. Now, if we're a little more advanced, we're gonna sneak a little toe drop. We say shuffle. So what I did was, the supporting leg, I put a little toe drop under my shuffle. And maybe that's a little too tricky for you. So try to get one of the two toe drops. Or none. Now, if you're a little more advanced, you wanna sneak this double in, shuffle. That's cool too. Shuffle. 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 Two shuffles. We say shuffle, shuffle. Again, let the leg do the work. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Nice. Now we're gonna add the toes. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Put your little own rhythm in there at that turnaround. If you can, double up your toe drops. Otherwise, just do one. If you can't do one, do none. Let the leg do the work. Oh, put that triple in there. Now we say shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Too fast, one slow. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Put the toe in at the, the slow shuffle. Uh-huh. And now what's gonna come up in between even the fast shuffles, we're gonna try to put that little toe drop in, okay? Only if you got it. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then if you can, hit that double. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Mm -mm -mm. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Give me four shuffles. One, two, three, four. Now, what you can do here, one, two, three, four. I want you to accent the ins. One, ha, 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 uh-huh. That's it. Give me those toe drops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Give me
give me five, we say one, two, three, four, five. Give me toe drops, we say one, two, three, four, five, hey. One, two, three, four, five, hey. One, two, three, four, five, uh, 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 uh. One, two, three, four, five, hey. Give me six now, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, keeping that ankle just loose. Let the leg do the work. Toe drops, we say one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me seven with a stamp. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me seven with a toe heel at the end. Seven toe heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flex your tummy and flex your bum. That will help you. Stay on balance. Six, seven, give me six. So what I'm doing here, I'm putting in a nerve tap. You don't have to do that. If you have it though, you might as well try to sneak them in. Toe drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't have those nerve taps, then just do a normal shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Say 
Double toe drop. But dinner's coming up. I got babies to feed. So I'm sneaking out a little bit. Half time, we say ho. Can you give me a double heel at the last heel drop? We say ha ha. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, two, three. time. If you can't do double time, now double time with the double heel. If you can't do the double time, stick to where you were. And shake it out. So on the next one, one of the big ones that uh, Steve would do uh, in the rudiments is the alternating uh, patterns. And I'll throw it at you right now. This is for beginner, and this is for everybody. So what we're going to say is take that same pattern we were just playing with. Toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, double heel, OK? And now, and this doesn't have to be a double. This could literally be, it could be ha, um, ha, um. You know what? Let's go here. Let's go here. So now what's going to happen is the supporting leg that you're standing on, you're going to pick the heel drop on it. And in the empty spaces of the crawl, you're going to drop the heel. Heel, 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 heel. Does that make sense? Let's see that real quick. We say toe, heel, 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 toe. Again, toe. See how this was still doing toe and heel? Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Now, once you get that, you can say toe, heel, 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 Take the double out. So now, my bad. What we can say, we can double it. Ticka, ticka, taka, ticka, ticka. You know what I'm saying? One, two, we say. Okay, so let's leave that one. That'll be a little brainy something. If you feel good about it, that heel can become a toe. That can become a double toe or whatever. Does that make sense? Cool. Some requested steps. Shuffles, cramp rolls. Okay, let's talk about cramp rolls. Love cramp rolls. You are never too good for a cramp roll. Um, even when you're too good for a cramp roll. You're still never too good for a cramp roll. Cramp roll will kick your butt depending on who's teaching you to cramp roll. So, um, for real though, Chloe, shout out to Chloe. Uh, Chloe threw a cramp roll exercise at me one time, way back, way back, way back. Uh, and it made me feel like I just started tap dancing for the first time in my life. So, just saying. I mean, I figured it out now, but back then, it was, it was, it was ugly, it was ugly. Uh, thank you, Chloe. Okay, so <laughs> uh, let's do a little cramp exercise. So we're gonna put shuffles and cramps together. What I wanna see in the shuffle, let the leg do the work. So when you're gonna shuffle, a couple things to think about. Think about the leg and not pointing and flexing to get the shuffle. Does that make sense? Pointing and flexing, that whole idea. Let's just shake the foot out. Uh, you know Muppets? 
You know the Muppets? If you don't know the Muppets, you are in quarantine. Look up the Muppets. Um, please. Uh, but Kermit. Kermit would be like, yeah, yeah, all the time. See this? How this is just like my arm is moving and my wrist is like flipping and flapping all over the place? Well, if you relax your ankle and you shake your leg, your foot is going to flip and flap all over the place. That's kind of how loose we want to be. Okay? So now I'm shuffling. That's one thing to think about. Next thing to think about, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be like a, like this whole like kick yourself in the, the bum thing. You know what I mean? Like, this, uh, like that's just like, I feel like that's a lot of activity for a shuffle. Uh, especially like the more advanced steps or the faster steps, it's like a shuffle is just like this big. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's nice and big and it's showy and flashy, but really like this is, this is too much. You're overcompensating for your shuffle, I think. Um, and some people like to overcompensate elsewhere in their lives. It doesn't have to be in the shuffle, okay? So we're going to take our shuffle. We're going to shuffle into a cramp roll. We're going to say, pause. Before we do that, cramp roll. What is the cramp roll? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Uh, what is a shuffle? A shuffle is a brush and a brush. So we use our leg. We brush it front. We brush it back. There's a little bit of a pickup in the knee versus a that guy, you know what I mean? So we're using our leg, we brush it front, brush it back, but it's more like an up. So it's like an up feel versus a, I don't know, you know, whatever that is that people are doing nowadays. Uh, listen, if that's your shuffle and it works for you, who am I to tell you not to shuffle like that? But this is my garage, so don't shuffle like that. Uh, <laughs> But outside of my garage, you do you. Do whatever you want to do. Okay? So, we're here. Does that make sense for the shuffle? We got it. It's a brush and a brush. So my brand new spanking beginners, brush and a brush. Now, what is a cramp roll? A cramp roll. We say toe. We say toe. We say heel. We say heel. Ooh, that was a heavy heel drop. So, it's a, it's a step up and a step up. I lied. It's not a step up. It's a step and a step and a heel drop and a heel drop. And here's why it's not a step up. When you're like little kids, you're telling the little kids to do tippy toes because it's really hard for them to process separating their toes from their heels. They're just gonna be like, I know, I have three of them. So, um, you're not little. I mean, maybe you are. So then, in which case, tippy toes. But if you're not little, stay in the plie, put a roof on your head, don't hit your head on the roof. Does that make sense? That way, we're going to stay super connected, super connected to the ground. We're going to be grounded. We're going to be actively pressing against the ground, which engages our muscles. If you ever hear somebody tell you dance into the floor, I know you can't physically dance into the floor. But what you can do, you can push against the floor, which will actively engage your muscles. So we're there, OK? What is a cramp roll? You give me a right, you give me a left, you give me a right, you give me a left. That's like the basic one. You give me a left. You give me a right, you give me a left, you give me a right. That's the basic. Let's just do a little, little bit of cramp roll real quick. One, two, three, four. We say toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe. Left foot says toe, 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 toe. toe. Double time on the right. Toe, toe, focus on the toe, toe, focus on the toe, toe. If you get the toe, toe, what you'll find is the heels will figure themselves out. We're on the left now, left, 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 left. Focus on the toe, 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 okay? So now, what's the exercise? We're gonna do this pattern, it's called three and a break. Three and a break is where you have one thing repeated three times and the fourth time, switches it up on you. It's the break. We're going to hit one thing three times, and then the fourth time, we're going to hit something else. Now, our break, because it's a little bigger than normal, it's going to kind of impede on number three. So it's going to be like one thing the same, second time the same, third time is like the same for a bit, and then the break sneaks in on the third time, and then also on the fourth time. Okay? So we're going to say one and two and three and Four and one and two 
and three. What did I just say? I said shuffle on four and. Four and. One and is the beginning of the cramp roll. Two and is the end of the cramp roll. Three is a stamp. What is a stamp? A stamp is when you put your whole foot on the ground and you transfer your weight. But you could transfer your weight and be like, oh. You could transfer your weight and be like, foot's still on the ground. If I don't transfer my weight, typically most people call that a stomp with an O. Stamp, stomp, okay? We say one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Transfer the weight so that this left foot is free. We say four and one Transfer the weight so the right foot is free. Uh, four and one and two and three. This is just a step. Four, one, two, three. 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 That's the step. So now let's add the break. The break is going to be a series of cramp rolls. So here's number one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. What did I do? I added two cramp rolls onto number three. Number three goes four and one and two and don't stamp, go into a cramp. And now, three. Does that make sense? Okay. Rewind, do all that jazz, figure it out. Let's put it together. Right to left. Oh, let me give you the left break. This is number three on the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Cool? Okay. So now, let's do it. Right to left. Three and a break, three and a break. We say, let's do it like a medium. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Here's the break. Hey, hey, then you give me stamp. Uh, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Here's the break. One, break. Three, uh. So what might be messing you up, when you cramp roll, transfer the weight onto the last heel. Really the weight's in the middle for the whole cramp roll. My weight is here. Transfer, just like I'm over exaggerating, but do that tiny little ha! Because what happens now, foot's up, pow, drop it down. Hope that makes sense. So if you're getting stuck, it's most likely a weight transfer situation. Let's go a little faster now, now that you can figure out the weight. Transfer in the stamp. Let's try in here. Yeah, so we say um, shuffle, cramp, stamp, shuffle, cramp, stamp. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Hey, hey, four, one, two, three, four, ho. Hey, uh, uh, give me that again. a little something. Play with that exercise. So we're going to take our shuffles. We're going to take our dig heel. Dig heel, step heel, toe heel. Again, depending on who, what, where. Uh, but what it is, is it's a toe digging into the ground or stepping because you're transferring a little bit of weight onto it, but not a full transfer. Uh, and then uh, heel drop. Okay. Shuffle, toe heel. Now, there's another step called a scuff. I'm going to throw that at you real quick. I haven't even taught you what a flap is but we're, we're working in shuffle land right now. So maybe next one we'll work in flap land, okay? Because uh, the advanced step is a shuffle step too. So we take our shuffle. Shuffle toe heel. Transfer the weight, this foot is free. You take the heel of this foot and you go, ha! You just kick, kick somebody. 
Somebody, you quarantine me? Uh, kick him. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> don't kick nobody. Please don't kick nobody. Be like, oh my gosh, my dad teacher, Andrew, was like, don't kick everybody. <laughs> don't. Uh, but we say, shuffle, 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 toe heel. Transfer the weight, take this heel, uh, and it's just a little lift. Don't go crazy with it because this foot has to come back. Shuffle, a two, a three, and a four. A one, a two, a three, and a four. A one, a two, a three, and a four. A, a, um, um. This is your break. Now, a scuff could also be the whole foot. Just depends on how angry you are that day. No, it doesn't. It depends on what your choreographer says. Um, or you, maybe you're choreographing it yourself. So, you want to, we're gonna do like just a little, little with the heel today. Uh, maybe on an angrier day, we're gonna, you know, use our whole foot. Uh, it doesn't have to be anger. That scuff can represent all kinds of emotions. I'm happy, I'm angry, I'm sad. Look, it's acting. Okay, so, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that break, um, in case the video cut out, it's, it's instead of three shuffles, you do one. Shuffle, toe, heel, scuff. Shuffle, toe, heel, scuff. Shuffle, toe, heel, scuff. Shuffle, dig, heel, scuff. Whatever you want to call it. Cool? Um, let's try it a little faster. One, two, three, four, one. my advanced folks. So, uh, the request was a flying shuffle. Now, if from what I've heard, uh, a flying shuffle is this guy. So what is that? Um, some people call that a pickup shuffle land <laughs> because you're doing a pickup, a shuffle and a land, uh, aka landing. Uh, so flying shuffles. Um, if you call a flying shuffle something else, the children are yelling. Uh, if, you, if you call a flying shuffle something else, throw that in the comment. Uh, let me know what you meant by flying shuffle. You're like, that's not, I mean, that's a step, but that's not the step I wanted. This is the step I wanted. Be like, oh, okay, I'll teach you how to do that. So, flying shuffle. If you can do a pickup or a pullback, then you could do a flying shuffle. Now, why am I saying pullback like that? Um, because I feel like everybody says pullback. But, you know, I came up in, like, southern Ontario, and we all say pickup over here. But then, like, since I've been traveling for the last however many years uh, teaching and taking uh, class at wherever, conventions or, or festivals or whatever, everybody says pullback. So, just a little thought, a little, little tidbit. So, pick up, shuffle, land, pull back, shuffle, land, whatever you want to say. Just pick your best foot right now. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to do a pickup right now, so you should already have that skill. If you can do the pullback, you're good. You have the step. It's all about timing. The hardest part of the step is the pullback. It, it, the hardest part is the timing. Uh, but the hardest step is the pullback. So it's a pickup. This is my pickup. I go, uh. while I'm in the air, I sneak the shuffle in, and then I land. Now, your brain might be like, yeah, that's, I, that makes sense. And then you tell your feet to do it, and your feet are like, no. Um, fair, fair. So I've had to tell people one time to like literally hold their foot back because what's happening is as they go to get in the air on the, on the pullback, this foot's already going for the shuffle. So what I would suggest to you is no matter what happens, don't move this foot. Don't engage the shuffle until the pullback has begun. Okay? So pullback, you know, you're starting on a bit of a releve. Just get the heel off the ground. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but again, you don't have to. There's, there's tons of people who pull back from a flat foot. Now, I mean, I'm going to pull back from a, a, a little releve while I, while I can. So since I am still able to, I will pull back from a releve. Now, after the pickup begins, I'm going to start my shuffle. And before I land, I have to finish the shuffle. You're going to do the, the biggest pickup you can do, right? OK? 
Okay? And what you want to do is here, before that foot comes down, you want to shuffle. So let's say the tempo of your pickup is ta ta, ta ta, ta ta da ga, ta ta da ga, ta ta da ga, ta ta da ga. That means the shuffle has to say ta ka, ta ta da ga. One, two, three, four. Ta ta da ga. That's how fast the shuffle has to be. Gettable, right? So that's it. So I can do the shuffle. I can do the pullback. Can we do it together? So don't engage this shuffle <laughs> until you're in the air. And that's how you get that sound. So that's what the step is. Um, I would try this for the timing, not for the pickup. If you don't have the pickup, that's a different whole thing. You have to go and get the pullback, okay, and then come back. If you have it, sit on the back of a chair or whatever, hold it, and just let your feet get what the timing is. If the timing isn't working for you, if you can be at a bar or a chair or whatever, then you could just shigga da uh, shigga da uh. Some people call this a bicycle or a bicycle shuffle or a bicycle pullback or something, something, something with bicycle. Because what's happening is it's like a bike. You're pedaling. So as this foot comes out, I'm like, I just had like a tuna sandwich. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Um, but excuse me. I'm saying excuse me. That's what I'm trying to say by explaining to you why I'm burping. Um, so... This foot comes down, as it comes down, this foot has to come up. They can never be in the same place at the same time, okay? Two MCs can't occupy the same space at the same time. It's against the laws of physics. Who said that? You don't know. Two MCs can't occupy the same space at the same time. It's against the laws of physics. Who said it? I mean, I know who said it. Um, throw that in there. Who said it? Um, anyway, this is not hip-hop history so we are going huh get this foot in the air it's in the air therefore this foot is allowed to come down okay i hope that makes sense once you have that figured out there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it put the shuffle back double the shuffle um put it on a wing so so you hit the wing sneak the shuffle in land it you know what i mean so uh the drill is uh, on stamps, flat foot, stamp, shuffle, pick up, shuffle, pick up, pick up, shuffle, land. Shigga, digga, shigga, digga, ba, shigga, do, ah. Shigga, digga, shigga, digga, ba, shigga, do, ah. Stamp, shuffle, pick up, change, shuffle, pick up, change. Pick up, shuffle, land. Pick up, change, uh. Pick up, shuffle, land. Pick up, change, pick up, shuffle, land. Let's put it there. So, one e and a two e and a three, shigga, do, ba. One e and a two e and a three, shigga, do, ba. One e and a two e and a three, shigga, do, ba. Ha, sugar to ba. Ha, sugar to ba. Those can be hops, those can be changes, whatever. And then, right, right there, you, you just landed on this left foot. Give me the stamp on that left foot again, just so we could keep it consistent with which foot is starting. Ah, uh, put the shuffle on it. Ha, ha. Okay. Then, ha. Sugar to sugar to ba. 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 And on the third one, there's one more shuffle we can sneak in here. Okay. Here we go. I think that's what we're gonna do for today's class. Hope you enjoyed it. Quick recap, beginners. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. And then if you wanted, put them back to back in that order. Um, 
advance, literally just ran it for you. But again, it's all about the timing. Think bicycle, which is why some people call it bicycle. Keep the ankle loose in that, especially, you know, if you're gonna try to go for uh, the double or the inside, or if you're gonna, again, put it in that wing, there's less time, right? Because yeah. now the wing is doing more. So you really want to, to have a clean, quick, a clean, quickly executed shuffle. And that's gonna come from the leg doing the work and the ankle being loose. Cool, thanks for joining me. Again, I'm just giving back. Thanks for coming to our rescue. Um, everyone who did with the, the, <laughs> the hand sanitizer. To, it's, one of the, it's one of the many integral steps in the cleanliness for our catheterization for my son. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, let's end class with a shave and a haircut. Two bits. I'ma call bop, boop, bop, boom. And however you want, bop, bop, answer. Or, you know, do the whole thing. I don't care, I can't see you. Ready? <laughs> appreciate it. One, two, three, four. Cool. Thank you very much.